Good morning, everybody, and uh, here's uh, an update for the silencer for the Triumph TR7. And uh, what I have here is uh, I have the heat shield uh, put onto the new midsection, mid silencer box, and I had a little trip up to uh, a place called Ipple Pen in Devon uh, to a friend's uh, house, a village he lives in, with a lovely workshop, and he very kindly made some straps out of stainless steel and actually spot welded the uh, straps to the heat shield and yeah very good job it is too so if I if I decide to actually replace this silencer box again all I have to do is remove the straps and place the heat shield back onto the new exhaust when it's needed very good job I'm a good friend of mine an ex-work colleague uh, from BCT Graham Hickey. Thanks a lot, buddy. And uh, it was great to spend half a day with you uh, perusing your workshop and uh, having a good old catch up. And like I said, there's the older one, completely scuppered on the end. And uh, she's going to go all the way in here. I'm sure you can see that all the way back there. And uh, like I say, this exhaust, uh, the, 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 uh, the end piece is very is in good condition stainless and I'll I'll get all this back on now I have bought some actual uh, some gun gum just to seal in the seals uh, when I put it on just to give it a slither and uh, and I've got some new clamps as well to go on so I'm gonna be cracking on with that I'm not gonna film it I'll uh, I'll just film it when it's all back together again and uh, yeah it's uh, I got this from uh, uh, the exhaust I got uh, from Rim Brothers, very helpful they were too, and uh, I couldn't get one in stainless. I would have bought the stainless, but uh, all I could get was mild steel. And judging from the amount of uh, mileage I do in the Triumph, and uh, you know, it's always garage, so I think my expectation is that this exhaust should last quite some time. So I'm just going to crack on with it, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Well, here we are. It's all back in again, and uh, exhaust is all on. Let me show you. Recognise that sound. Let's have a look. It's all on. Rubbers are all on. You can feel that? That noise. Put the rubbers on. Got the new clamps. And yeah, she's uh, looking okay. The new getting the rubbers off were a bit slightly elongated out here a bit, but uh, and on the other side, she's uh, nice and quiet. Over quite nicely. Yep. So I'll just let that go for a little while as the engine warms up. I've got to put the dash in. I've got the neoprene now. Um, just an update on the clock. I had a <laughs> I had a problem with the clock and I lost the second hand. I can't find it anywhere. I'm just hoping I'll come across it at some point. But uh, I'll, I'll get the dash back into situ. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's looking nice. Sounding good. Yeah, so as the uh, sealant just uh, to put a bit of sealant on the end. I'll get the battery clamp back in there. Uh, I need to clean up that uh, shelf back there. Get all that garbage off. So uh, yeah. Let me connect the headlights. So I only took them off to make sure I wasn't uh, draining any power. Just let this stick over for a while. Start working on the dash again. 
happy days. It smells wonderful. So that's the story of the exhaust. Yeah. Okay. Leave it there.